uh, in the system of white supremacy, everybody is taught to misuse funds. I mean, the cheating people. That that is a that's a big part of the system of white supremacy. And the system of white supremacy is the only system that we are familiar with. That's the only system we have ever experienced. If you're classified as non-white and you're on this planet, you haven't experienced any other system except the system of white supremacy. So being deceptive in the handling of money is a part of the white supremacist system because being deceptive in everything, including right now, lately, I mean, who's black and who's not? (laughs) All right. (laughs) Uh, we have a little uh, incident of that, but that's another story. But the direct answer to that question, yes, in the handling of money, you have to always be very careful that you're not being cheated and try to encourage people or teach people or lead people in the thinking of don't cheat when you're handling money. Don't, don't, don't make promises that you can't keep or mm-hmm. won't keep, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, I mean, people people always, when money is involved, I mean, it brings about a whole bunch of problems, because the first thing that we are all taught to do is how can we get over on somebody, awesome. to use a yeah. slang expression, yes. when it comes to money. Mm-hmm. And so you have to constantly fight against that, and simply by saying, certain things I outlined that you say you don't do. Uh, among non-white people, uh, it's okay to donate money. I mean, if the person will accept your donations, I don't accept donations. Uh, but it's okay to donate money to people who, you know, you want to donate money to. Uh, you know, and you know who it is that you're donating to and for what reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's okay to do that. And you do it in the names of the people who are just involved in the donations themselves. And uh, in any other business transaction, buying something, selling something, uh, I sell a book. So, you know, I put the price on the book, and uh, I try to keep the price reduced. At one time, I had it reduced quite a bit from where it is now. But in the system of white supremacy, sometimes cost of things go up because I have no control over the cost of a lot of the elements that go into producing a book. Why? Because directly and indirectly, the white supremacists are in control of all of the money on the planet. So they determine the value of money. Mm -hmm. They determine... I I just read an article just the other day about, I think it's in Gambia, uh, Africa, where the... No, it's not in Gambia. I think it's Zimbabwe, where the money is almost worthless there. Because? Because, I would say, directly and indirectly, the white supremacists have juggled the value of the money so that it is worthless. Hmm. Because the white supremacists that make the determination about all of the money that non-white people have and what the worth of it is, at any given moment. All over the globe. All over the world. Yes, okay. You, know, you can go and have set up your, what you call your own country, like something that was alluded to this morning in this conversation, because that's what Malcolm X was talking about. You know, separation is the answer and whatnot. And Elijah Muhammad and other people. Okay, but that means you've got to separate that monetary system, too. Because if your monetary system is is entangled with the white supremacist monetary system, you are dominated right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. And the white supremacists always see to it that they dominate your money. Yes. The value of your money. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they dominate the value of you. 